Hi Scorpio, welcome back. So this is going to be uh, the you versus them spread for the week of November 26th. Um, so Scorpio, I'm going to pull cards on what your current energy is, your hopes and fears for this uh, partnership situation, whatever, and next steps. And then I'm going to pull cards for the person external to you, what their hopes and fears are and next steps are as well. Because it's a general reading, it could go vice versa. Um, and love does, doesn't just pertain to like a traditional love relationship. It could pertain to family, friends, coworkers, um, exes, whatever, you, whatever it resonates with, go with it. Okay, it's a general read. If you want a private reading, um, I am available for bookings, and that is at www.tarottimewithdana.com. Okay, so let's get started. See what you got going on, Scorpio. Next week, Scorpio. Okay. So, Scorpio... Oh. You've got the Eight of Swords, uh, Temperance in Reverse, and the Three of Swords. So, needing to get out of your head about something that hurts you. And I'm not just talking about like, ow, oh, that hurt. I'm talking like this is something that deeply hurts you, threw you completely out of balance. Okay. And just feeling like you've got no place to go. You know, like, where do I go from here? And Scorpio, your readings were pretty intense last week as well. So, this also speaks about, like, some instability within a partnership, but would you, would you have the Three of Swords here? This is something heart, you know, this is heartbreak. That's heartbreak to me. Um, this could be you or the person external to you feeling that way, but I just feel a high concentration of energy on it this week. So this might not even have been current. This might have been something that happened a while ago, but for some reason or another, you're feeling the emotions of it um, like all over again, or the intensity of it is here this week. Um, and I think I said in the midweek checkup uh, for Scorpio that if you had been like suppressing something, any type of emotion, um, that the retrograde was almost going to pull that right out. So I see you've got some pretty heavy cards here. <clears throat> and that would go right along with what your midweek said. So let's see what the person external to you, their overall energy. Mm -hmm. You got the star card, ace of pentacles, king of swords, and the high priestess. So the person external to you is going also through a healing spiritual path um, of their own. They're having some sort of new beginning. And I feel like this person may not be communicating with you, but they're still fully aware of what you're doing. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're still thinking about you. Um, for some of them, they may even be like dreaming. You might be showing up in their dreams or you there, you there could go vice versa. Because anytime, you know, I have like the star and the high priestess together, those are like real, it's like a real dreamy, like energy almost. So, yeah. But I do feel like the person external to you, their overall energy this week is wanting healing, focusing on a new opportunity, whether that be with you or external to you. We'll see when we get all the cards out. But they are contemplative as well. So I see Scorpio, you stuck in your head. While I see this person also thinking things through as well. Okay. Um, Scorpio, how you view this person? Current energy, how you view this person? Scorpio, how you view this? 
this person. So Scorpio, I think, uh, and how you view this person, I think, you know, you feel like they've let go of the situation and, and they have totally closed off the emotions towards you. I also feel like you view this person as either trying to get away with something. What a weird energy to get. Hold on, let me, <laughs> give me one moment here. Scorpio, you see this person is getting attention. You've got the Six of Wands, which speaks of, you know, receiving like accolades or getting attention or you might be um, spying on this person. And I don't mean like hanging out in their bushes or anything. You know, although I guess some of you might be, but that's not how I view the card. It's it's more like, um, you know, like I said, this person is still aware of what's going on in your life. You are also aware. So if you're, you know, watching, like, um, checking their social media or, like, asking about them or etc. I see that happening on both sides. But I just feel like, you know, this person, you view them as giving attention, but not to you. Because they love, they have finally let go. This is the Four of Pentacles, which talks about holding on to me in the upright, but you got it in the reverse, so letting go. Um... You also feel like that you view this person as not telling you 100% the truth either. And that showed up in the last few readings. So let me see how they view you. So this person is really uncertain about you. Like I said, in their overall energy, I got um, like, uh, like a contemplative vibe with the King of Swords there. And then here in their, um, and how they view you, they've got the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, which both speak about the same thing, needing to make a decision, not having all of the facts vacillating on what to do here. And they view you as somebody who is a bit two-sided. Almost said two-faced. So that could be possible. But I, li I like the term two-sided better because it's not as negative. <laughs> but I feel like they, they see you as like constantly changing or flip-flopping your persona which for them that makes it difficult for them to decipher which portion of you is the truth you know but they also got the ace of wands and the hierophant which talks about um you know, they view you as passionate, as a spiritual person, or a religious person, or somebody who prefers to do things like in a traditional way. Or for some of them, it just means that they view you as marriage material. Some of you might be actually married to this person. So, pick which one is yours. <laughs> but, um, so again, that's kind of like seeing you in two different lights. You know, they 
they don't make a decision on anything because of the constant change in in the way either you're portraying yourself or in the way that you speak to them or in the way that you behave overall. Um, <clears throat> but then at the same time, they also have, you know, I would say they're definitely attracted to you, sexually attracted to you. And they see, um, like I said, potential there for a relationship. So that's interesting because you viewed this person as letting go and turning their back on you. But in reality, this person hasn't let go, but they don't know about, they don't know. They're not making any moves because they're not sure about you. So, what's Scorpio's next steps? So, Scorpio, in your next steps, I do see, so they had the Ace of Pentacles in their overall energy, and then you just got the Ace of Pentacles in your next step. Same card, different deck. So, I think for some of you, you still see potential with this partner, and you may act on that this week. So you got, you're getting repeating cards on both sides. Um, you got the high priestess and your next steps and the person external to you had the high priestess and their overall energy for the week. You also both had the ace of pentacles. So uh, whether you talk or not, you're, you're still synchronized. Does that make sense? So I feel like um, this is an interesting combination. It's like a new beginning in an unstable relationship. Caution. Do you want a new beginning in an unstable relationship? I would think about that. I see you're trying to use your intuition about it. But I do see communication here. I think a lot of you are finally going to take some action this week and communicate. But I don't necessarily always like this type of communication. Look how dark that card is. So, hmm. Be mindful of how you say things. You know. And like I said, this communication to me always denotes like texting or even online communication, like posting and stuff like that. Phone calls, things like that, that people still call each other these days. <laughs> but yeah, I just see, you know, still some instability here though. So a, you see potential, you are definitely trying to use your intuition on whether or not to communicate, but I see a strong likelihood that you may, because of the emotions being so strong this week uh, and the week prior and probably next week till Mercury's out of retrograde, it might just push you to the point where you actually, you know, move on this and communicate, but then you're still holding back a little bit. So even if you do actually communicate, you're still going to hold back. Like you're not going to put all your cards out on the table, which I don't think a Scorpio that I've known has ever put all of their cards out on the table. <laughs> so that's not surprising. Uh, I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just who we are. All right, next steps for the person external to you. Okie dokie. 
Your cards have come out really easy this reading. I'm so thankful for that because your last reading was like way complex. And this one's pretty straight to the point. So that's good. <laughs> okay. So again, repeating cards. And your overall energy for the week, you got temperance in the reverse. And their next actions towards you, they got temperance in the upright. So like I said, a lot of mirroring energy here. Um, so... They have the Ace of Cups on their side. It's so funny because on your side, you're viewing this person as like wanting attention from other people, not paying you any attention, that they've let this go. You're like heartbroken over this situation. And on their side, they got the Ace of freaking Cups and their next steps. So Scorpio, this person has a lot of love for you. But I also feel this energy of needing, they're trying to temper their emotions, um, you know, and I also feel like this person has a decision to make because they've got the two of pentacles, the two of swords, and the two of wands all on their side. That means that, you know, just the sheer fear of making a decision keeps them from doing anything really you know so in their next steps if you if you do communicate with them i do see they will communicate back um whether or not that communication uh brings us together or pushes it back apart is going to depend on the type of communication because they have the knight of wands which is taking action, and you have the Knight of Swords, which is communicating. So if you communicate to this person, they're going to want to take some type of action on this, right? And I feel like be, they're really not sure what action to take, but I know, you know, that they feel love there. There's love. So, But again, I just feel this, they have a lot of indecision, indecisive, wishy-washy, behavior over here so let's uh get some scorpio's hopes and fear for this partnership scorpio hope and fear we're mad on time 17 minutes not too bad all right <laughs> scorpio's fear So, Scorpio, your hope is an interesting one. Got the Knight of Wands in the reverse that fell in your hope section. So, it may be that for some watching... This person's done too much damage, and so your hope, if you do communicate, the hope would almost be to communicate that you feel that this is not going to work, and let that be the end of it, okay? Um, if you're not completely done with this relationship, and some of you aren't, because I can see this going two separate ways here, then the hope is to actually have some action take place as opposed to just this thinking stagnation state. Um, the fear that I got was four swords and the emperor. So, yeah, I think a lot of you are fearing that it's going to stay in this quiet phase where both parties are thinking but nobody's speaking um, because both want the upper hand, you know. The 
control over the situation. That's whether you want this relationship to end or not, really. It's the same fear. Because there's no resolve in, in a situation like that. It's just, it just, you know, doesn't come to a nice resolution. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. Let's see what the person external to you, what their hope and fear is. They got the uh, Seven of Pentacles for their hope. So a lot of the person external to you feels like they've waited a long time on this, that they have been patient with it, and their hope is to get um, the harvest, you know, reap what they've sown, you know, in a good in a good way, obviously. And the fear is the Six of Swords, and this is like moving on, but it's taking the pain with you. So again, it's almost the same exact fear as you, which is that, that you'll both leave this situation, but never have like any closure or peaceful resolution or, you know, whatever. And that it won't come together, like a whole lot of time wasted. You know, a whole lot of emotions wasted. That's kind of the overall vibe that I'm getting. So, let's see the overall messages. Reconsider. That's the overall message. Reconsider. Wow. Well, that kind of sums it up. <laughs> like I said in the middle part of the reading. The way that you are viewing this person, Scorpio, is not how they actually feel. So there's some disillusionment here. So if you've made your mind up about this person based on your perception of what they feel without actually knowing what they feel, then the overall message is then you need to reconsider your plan of action because this person feels a lot deeper than you think they do. They have the ace of freaking cups. Okay. But like I said, you know, on the surface, they may not be showing that. And that has caused you to go into a whole different path that you need to reconsider. Because um, I don't feel like you truly have all, all of the... Um, perspective there okay Ugh, could not get that out <laughs> anyways let me tell you the zodiac signs i see here don't get caught on caught up on them it's a general reading so i have aquarius i have uh air sign aquarius libra gemini showing up sagittarius taurus Aries, Sagittarius again, could be another water sign like yourself, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could also be uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, I do see that here, I don't really see earth signs guys. But it's a general read, so don't get caught up in the zodiac signs. If you didn't hear the one you were waiting for, that doesn't mean it's not for you. I only say them because you guys like them. But uh, those are the predominant signs that I'm seeing here, okay? So I hope that helps, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Uh, if it did, please do like, share, and subscribe. And if you want a private reading, go to my website, carotimewithdana.com. Thank you. Namaste. Bye-bye.